Hello and welcome to a quick demo where I'm going to show you how to do some cross-platform scripting using Device Connect and Mobile Labs Trust's add-in to UFT. So first thing I want to do is get a device from Device Connect. So I'm going to connect up here to an iPhone 5. I'm going to run on that iPhone 5 our phone lookup application. And I will see on the screen uh, on my desktop what is going on on the device. Uh, now I'm going to get uh, Mobile Labs Trust and UFT and I'm going to use Record and Play uh, to record a very basic script where I'm just going to log into the app. So here I'll type in the username then I'll type in the password. As I'm doing that my actions are being recorded and the objects are being built in the object repository. And I end the record session and you'll see that some script has been created and some objects have been created in the repository. I'm going to rename the, those two objects so that we can more easily see which one um, goes with the login uh, field and which one goes with the password field. Notice that as I rename them in the repository, the script that was recorded is changed uh, at the same time. Then I want to do a little housekeeping on the script to get rid of a couple of the uh, early clicks that we don't need. And now I'm ready to work on this um, just a little bit to make it um, suitable for cross-platform use. To do that, I'll use visual relation identifiers, which is simply a way of saying, find this object by reference to some other object. And I'm going to use the text, username and password, that appear to the left of the boxes, um, the edit boxes, to make that identification. So I've added the username one. Here I'm going to add one for the password. It's just a simple matter of saying I want to add it. I'll click on the text that I want to add, and I'll identify that text as appearing immediately to the left. Uh, I've done that now for the edit box uh, for username and the edit box for password. I'll delete a couple of physical properties that I don't need anymore because I'm using the visual relation identifiers. And just as a check, we'll make sure that the tool can identify the boxes uh, correctly, and it can. Uh, using my visual relation identifiers. Uh, so that puts me in a position to test the script. So we'll run it very quickly. Uh, you'll see the username is entered, the password is entered, and we are logged into the app. Uh, just to review what happened, because it went by pretty quickly, we'll take a look at the run results viewer where I can see a screen capture of each step. Here's where the username was entered, here's where the password was entered, and here's where we clicked on the sign in button. So I now have the basis of a cross-platform script that's identifying objects uh, in my object repository logically. So to test this for cross-platform use, the next step would be to go get an Android device. I'll get a Nexus uh, tablet here. And we'll run on that Nexus tablet the uh, Android version of our phone lookup application, which presents a similar log on screen from a logical standpoint, obviously physically appears very different. Um, but because I'm using visual relation identifiers, we're going to be able to run this script unmodified on this device. So you'll see that the tool is uh, able to identify the fields uh, by virtue of the visual relation identifiers. So we'll run the script. Then the script will do what it did on the iOS device. It'll enter the user name, enter the password, click the sign in button. And as with iOS, that happened very quickly. So we'll go look at the run results uh, for Android uh, here very quickly. Uh, and we'll see the screen captures where we uh, entered the username, where we entered the password, and where we clicked the sign in button. So what I've done very quickly using record and play is to connect is to create a single set of objects in the repository, a very simple script that runs both on iOS. Uh, and Android without modification. Just gives you an example of the power of Device Connect with Mobile Labs Trust to perform uh, automation across platforms. Thank you very much for visiting with me today.